2021 Chevy Corvette mid-engine 2LT hardtop convertible. It is my baby. I absolutely love this car. But when I bought this car, the salesman really had no idea how to even make the top go down. They don't know anything about these cars. Luckily, there was a school out in Las Vegas, Ron Fellows Driving School, that will teach me everything I need to know about this car. Well, I decided I didn't wanna just learn how to drive this car myself. So for Christmas, I bought a package for my father to join me out in Nevada to learn how to drive these cars together. In today's video, you guys are going to experience this with me. Now, this isn't like some super overly produced video that's just gonna try to entertain you. I don't even know what to expect. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. If anybody has ever considered doing this, I'm gonna show you everything you should expect from the very, very beginning to the very, very end. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's go to Nevada. Dear enthusiast, I love racing and high performance driving, always have, always will. Through the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School, I continue to share my passion for driving in Corvettes with owners and enthusiasts in a spectacular setting at Spring Mountain Motor Resort and Country Club. Our two-day programs are designed to provide drivers of all experience levels with the skills and techniques needed to truly challenge yourself and all the new mid-engine Corvettes. Each guest gets their own condo right on site. Oh, nice place. All right, let's see what it's like outside of our room. Look at that. Corvettes are already running out there. We are on the track. Our condo is on the track. Wow, look at the mountains. This is cool. I will tell you, it is freaking freezing out. Let's go to breakfast. Breakfast is available and it's included from 6.45 to 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is when class starts. Wow, look at these views. These are all right below our condo units. So these are all the Corvettes that will be driven this week, I guess. You can see the garages. This is how I want my house set up. Look at that. Over there, they have the CTSVs you can learn how to race. Then they have the Corvettes you can learn how to race right here. I like that grabber blue, whatever the Chevy calls it. Ford yeah. calls it grabber and blue. And they have even more over there. Look at them all. Look at that. You absolutely need to rent a car because we're an hour away from the airport and this this resort is pretty big, so you got to kind of drive everywhere too. Yeah. Um, Hi, good morning. So it's a breakfast buffet that's included if you're a driving student. So you just show up between 6:45 and 8, and they have your breakfast over there. It's really good. So is all the food. This breakfast is delicious. So I've been trying to think about it. why is this racetrack called a resort? And it finally makes sense to me. Most Corvette owners are older people. So to convince their wives to allow them to come, they get to plan a vacation with their wives to come to a resort. So the husband can race cars and the wives can hang out by the pool or by the fire or in the clubhouse or play cards or something. So that is why it's a resort. It's actually genius. So out behind the clubhouse, we have a putting green, little fire pit over there, some night lights and stuff. This is a bar in here too. They have a grill if you want to cook out and it's trackside. And then more Corvettes over there, hundreds of Corvettes on this property. Breakfast is right here. Right after breakfast, 8 a.m., class begins, which is right here. So super convenient, and the condos are just 
over there. So everything is on property, not super, super close to where we're staying because the track is so big, but it is all on property. It's 8 a.m. We're about to head into class now. All right, you want to explain what happened? So here's the beginning of our classroom experience. We were banded wrong. They gave us yellow wristbands to go to that classroom. We finally found the yellow classroom and we're supposed to be in the white classroom. So they're gonna give us new bands once we get there and hopefully we won't be too late for class. And we have all the amenities that you would not normally find at a racetrack. We have our clubhouse, indoor shooting range, swimming pool, jacuzzi, outstanding masseuse on staff, exercise facility. We currently sit on 330 developed acres. No, not anymore. Used to be 330 developed acres out of, out of 1,000. We just completed, just finished paving our signature track, 3.2 miles. We put the curbing in our, in our uh, curbing's in right now. We used to have 6.1 miles of track, the largest track in North America. Now we have just over 10.2 miles of track. We're not happy with that. We want to have the largest track in the world. We're trying to beat Nürburgring and we're on our way. So lots of neat stuff going on around here. Class one was about an hour long sitting in class, but it didn't feel like a class. Like I said, I, I was never good at sitting in class. I had no problem focusing and keeping my attention the whole time. So far the instructors, super friendly and it was like they were talking to us, not teaching us. So everything was really, really relatable. They broke our entire class into three groups. So right now we're in braking and steering. We're going out, we're gonna take them all for a ride. And uh, we're only an hour in and we're already driving our cars. So, so far, so fun. So take a minute, get a seat position that works out for you. You'll adjust it a little bit throughout the day. So if you want to memorize it, I saw you playing around with buttons, that's fine. You might adjust it a little bit. Um, just mostly, that looks good. Mostly looking for uh, good leverage on the brake pedal. Great. And not having to reach for the wheel. And, and then, so for this first session, we're just, just push the Z button once. And we've got it set up that's a shortcut to track mode the way we've got the car set up so that's a shortcut right into track mode so we don't have to play around with the dial and the traction control. perfect so they have walkie talkies that are wired into the stereo system so the drivers are actually speaking to us as we're driving our car and we can hear everything right through the stereo and we can talk to them through the walkie talkie uh, microphone so we'll be in manual mode you'll see the gear indicator right in the center of the dash there and then follow me on out did our first lap and after every lap they change rotation so I was behind the instructor and then someone else gets to go behind the instructor and somebody else. This is about our ninth lap and every lap got faster and faster. I love that we rotate and the instructor is actually recognizing if you want to go faster or not based on how close or how well you are to mimic him. So I'm actually having a really good time and this is practice laps. So now we get to do a braking exercise where they teach us how to brake on the car. And in like an autocross style track. It's pretty neat, they even wet the track so you can see they have a constant drip running across the track to keep it wet for uh, hazardous braking. So it's only 10.30 here, which means two and a half hours we've been here since it started. We've already been on the track for 10 laps. So we've done braking like and steering on wet tracks, braking. and now we're doing serpentine exercises. All this Hold within two and a half hours. hours. Here they actually blindfolded our windshield so we could only use our peripheral windows, our right and our left, to find our clipping points so we learn how to turn and find the apex when we get out on the track and we can implement it then. time and I'll tell you what that was not easy so we had half an hour in class this morning then it was in car almost all the way to lunch after we did everything in car for two hours we had a half an hour overview of everything we learned why we learned what we learned in class again now it's lunch we were only in class two half hour periods the rest we were in car and check out this lunch now you're getting it at the end of lunch but we have brownie cookie bars we had fruit we had chicken with uh, flatbread and basmati rice and vegetables, salads. I mean, it's a good spread and it's a great experience so far. 
Lunch is over, great hour break, back in class for 10 right. minutes. And now we're back in our car. So 10 minutes so after lunch, I get to follow the instructor, but we're doing some hot laps, I think now. We just got 25 minutes of track time of like really seriously racing. That was really fun. And then right after that, they taught us PDR. What is PDR stand for again? Performance data recording. So they taught us things I don't even know about my car. I've had this car for eight months. I, I didn't even know the capabilities it actually does is incredible. That's why this class is so important. We've learned things I've, I was never taught. Yeah. From the salesman. Yeah. The salesman didn't even yeah. The salesman don't even know anything about the cars. You really need an experience like this to appreciate yeah. what your car can do and even know the capabilities of what it's able to do. That was the fun part where we get to learn how to drift. So drift an automatic mid-engine C8 Corvette. This side here is super slick. Is that with the amount of power the car has, you touch the throttle, and it, it spins definitely around. spins out. So we just had a class uh, introduction to what we're up to right now. We get to run the track with the professionals. So they get to show us what we've been doing wrong, what we've been doing right, and how I can improve it for tomorrow. The instructor has so much trust and faith in that car and it took it. It handled everything he was doing. That these cars are amazing. I'm so happy he did that. It taught me what I was doing wrong. Day one's over. Post wrap up. I'm like so amazingly impressed. Early the next morning. Hey, good morning. So we had our breakfast, we had our class introduction, which was an hour long. I already feel like I know my car far better than I did before I got here. Now we did separate into two different groups, my father and I. Now we get to learn how to do autocross. Have some fun with it, okay? They're not your cars, they're not your tires. And uh, I'm encouraging it, you know, have fun with this. Here's something I just learned. So we're in and out of class. We're in class, in the car, in class, in the car. So there's never any like monotony of just sitting around. Even there's plenty of time of walking around. Well, we just did a walk around of the Corvette and I learned things that I had never learned before, which was really, really cool. And I keep saying the salesmen aren't taught. They're not educated on these cars. So they don't know how to show you the things you need to know about your car. I mean, he walked around the car and showed us secret keyholes and secret buttons for releases and latches and how your key fob works. He even told us about the additional two quarts of transmission fluid that need to go in your car if you're planning on tracking it or autocrossing or anything. It was so informative and I learned so much about my car that I don't think you'd even find Googling on YouTube or anything. So that was really a bonus in this course. Then they taught us the most efficient way to go from zero to 60. Now we do our final track time, then get like our graduation certificate from the driving school and we find out how we did. We'll do the autocross competition first, right? Uh, so we're going to do first, second, third for each group. Uh, the winner will receive a little placard. And I'll uh, we'll cover the name so I don't give it away. But a little autocross champion placard for you. First place with a 28 points. Three. Wow. Let's hear for Craig. I can't express how informative 
this class says. Like it not, doesn't just teach you how to drive race cars, it teaches you what you did wrong, what you can improve, but it's so constructive. I've never felt like I was criticized. They're so helpful. Even when I'm on the course, when they're saying things, Craig, you did a great job, try this next time. It's so constructive. This morning they explained to us how our launch control worked and how our electronic slip protection worked and the traction control, how to turn it off, what each mode is. These are things you're not taught when you buy your car. So I would have never known. I mean, I don't even find this stuff in YouTube videos or tutorials online. So they explain how it all works. Then you go use it on the course. Now this school, I would recommend it for absolutely everybody. It doesn't matter if you're young or young at heart. They had groups and levels for all ages, shapes, and sizes. And it was just such an incredible experience to be able to share with my father. And, and now I, I actually know how my car works. Instead of me just learning by error, I had a professional teaching me what I needed to know about my car. So if the new Corvette is something you're interested in, I absolutely recommend going to Ron Fellows Race School. And if you bought a Corvette, a lot of times you might not even realize GM contributes a portion for you to go. So it's really, really cool. It only cost me $1,000 for me to go there because I bought a new Corvette. So it's definitely something I'd recommend looking into. Next video, head to head with my father. Let's see who's quicker, my father or myself. Because we had a great time competing against each other. If you're into anything auto related at all, especially Corvettes, make sure to subscribe down below because I'm always putting out Corvette and car related content. And if you did like this video, if you could do me a favor and give me a thumbs up down below, it helps boost the algorithm. I made this video because it's something I wish I was able to see before going. So I knew exactly what to expect. So I hope it was helpful for you guys. For now, I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Corvettes, everyone. Adios. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching that circle right in the center that you're looking at. If you click that, you can subscribe to our channel. Boxes to the left and to the right are for best recommended playlists and videos for you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you later.